Hi everyone, I'm finally going back to school this weekend. I say this weekend because I don't actually know what day I'm going back, as in it keeps on changing. First it was Sunday, makes sense, you know, get all the borders back a day before lessons start. Then it moved to Monday and I was like, okay. Then it moved to Saturday, which I'm not really too sure how I feel about, to be honest, because it means one less day at home. I need to grow up. I've spent the last five months at home. Anyway, I'm gonna bring you along and show you what it's like. The first thing I need to do is pack. Obviously, I'm not gonna spend too long on packing because I find it really boring. And so it's probably really boring for you to watch, but I'll just show you some of the stuff I bring. The first thing I'm doing is packing my clothes. This is actually a very lengthy process. You know, when you're trying to pack for a holiday and you just don't know what clothes to bring and then you end up trying on all your clothes. I usually do that. So it takes me a couple of hours to pick what to bring. I forgot to mention, I'm only going back for two and a half weeks. So I really don't need that much stuff and I'm not really allowed to leave the house. So it's probably just going to be tracksuits. But anyway, let me get started. Green tracksuit or blue? Oh, whatever. I'll bring them both. That took me about five minutes. I murdered that. Oh, fuck. I've not packed my tops. Oh. <sighs> And I'm done. This is way too much stuff for two weeks, whatever. Also, these bags are very good. I'll find out from my mom where she got them from, but they're so good for packing stuff in for school because they're massive. Oh, it's got a rip in. Forgot what I said, don't buy them. Packing update, me and my mum have spent all afternoon, no joke, two hours looking for my duvet and pillow. And it got to the point where we were genuinely convinced that they'd just disappeared. But we found them, thank God. Anyway, now it's time to go and see if my trunk's packed. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's just go find out. Oh, thank the Lord. I really can't tell you how upset I would have been if this hadn't been packed. You're probably wondering, how is it already packed? And now this is my little hack. When I get home, unpack all my stuff, wash it, and then repack it immediately. So then when I have to pack for school, it's so much easier. Okay, this has saved me a lot of time. I'm very happy. I don't sound happy. Trust me, I am very happy. What else do I need to do now? Shoes, home stuff like my wash bag, but that gets done nearer the time, you know, all my home stuff because I need it at home. And then I'm pretty much done. Why did I start this on Tuesday? I should have started on Friday. Oh well, at least I'm prepared. It's been a couple of days. I'm back in my dad's office to get my books. They're just in that box there. The box is not very practical, to be honest. I used to have this wheelie thing, which was really useful, but I did look like an idiot and it's broken now, so I can't use it. It feels a bit weird being in here, actually, because I've not been here since the start of online school. I planned on doing my whole online school in here, and after three days, I got bored of it. And yeah, it was productive while it lasted, but it didn't last very long. Also, for those of you that watched my online school video, I ate Stephen, who's a guy who works with my dad's Kit Kat, and he's coming back to work, obviously, when he's allowed. And so I felt a bit bad, and I went and bought him a new one. Obviously, I couldn't go to China and buy him a Chinese Kit Kat, but I got him just this normal one, and then a zebra one, which actually looks really nice so i don't feel very bad anymore as in i think i've done him a bit of a favor because i got rid of a disgusting kick out and i've replaced it with two quite nice ones but anyway i'm actually going back to school tomorrow so i guess i'll see you then i've just put all my stuff in the car and i've packed way too much as in it's actually a bit obscene hang on let me just show you my plan is though that i bring all this stuff back and then leave it over easter and then i don't have to pack literally anything over easter but there's like a 90% chance that they're going to make us take everything home over the Easter holidays to have a deep clean. In which case my plan will fail, which will be really sad and very irritating actually. I'll get over it, I'm sure. Anyway, I need to go inside, say goodbye to everyone and then I'm leaving. <laughs> Oi, Pixie, stop being mean. <sighs> Pixie gets quite jealous when I'm hugging the other dogs and she starts growling and tries to attack them and me, which just isn't fun. So I have to give her her alone time. I feel like we look quite similar actually. Pixie, your breath stinks. Oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> and I'm on my way. How long does it take to get there? Uh, about an hour and three quarters. I really don't want to go back. I don't know why I always want to go back to school. I think it's because I've got so used to being at home over lockdown that the idea of going back to school is really not appealing to me. I need to stop being dramatic. I'm literally coming home in like three weeks. Is it three weeks or two weeks? I think it's about three weeks. I can't remember the date. Right, it's been about half an hour and I've got a genuine question. So we've been listening to the radio and all of the adverts sound the same. And actually on TV, all the people sound the same in them as well. You know where it's like, terms and conditions apply. They all sound the same. I was just wondering, is it the same person? which I really don't think it is because how could one person do every single advert? Or is there a specific audio filter that these people use for their adverts? 
Can someone please enlighten me? We've just stopped at Starbucks and I got this drink that I've been seeing all over TikTok. What was the drink? Grande cold brew cappuccino with cold foam syrup. and sugar-free caramel syrup. Let me try this out. No, that's not very nice. Oh, that's so much better. Mm. You need some sugar in that. Yeah, that's kind of disgusting. Mm. Should we eat you another drink? No, I quite like it, actually. Do I like it? No. It will do, it will do. I'm actually quite jealous of the girl who goes to Starbucks. There's this girl on TikTok who goes to Starbucks genuinely every day. You know the one who's like, another day, another Starbies. And genuinely, if I could go to Starbucks every day, that would be a nice life. No, turn it up. about to get there and i'm actually quite excited now my mum's been hyping me up for the whole journey and i can't wait to see my friends actual school now that's another thing but seeing my friends is gonna be fun just had my test and it was very unpleasant it was quite weird though the whole thing was like some sort of weird simulation because it was so organized i mean it kind of has to be but yeah it felt a bit odd and now i've just got to sit and wait for about an hour you know what, I might have a snack. We've just done my food shop for school and got, what do we get? Raspberries, my Weetabix, chocolate. We're gonna have to go back. We are. We forgot the raspberries. No, I bought raspberries. We forgot pesto. Oh God. Should we go back? Yes, we're gonna have to go back. Pesto yeah. has become a sort of condiment for me. Is condiment the right word? Like mayo or ketchup? Is it condiment? Yes, you call it a condiment, but it's yeah. not a condiment to No, that. for me, it's become a condiment and we need to go and get it. Bye! I've just finished carrying all my bags upstairs. I have to do it alone because my mum's not allowed in the building and none of my friends are back. And oh my God, that was the most exercise I've done in a really long time. It's been embarrassing how out of breath I am from carrying my bags upstairs. Anyway, I need to unpack. It's probably going to take me a couple of hours, but I'll see you when I'm done. about two hours and i'm finally done actually i've not put up my pictures you know how i had like loads of vogue covers on the wall because i just couldn't face doing that so if i can be bothered another day they'll go up but i don't know if they will also my lights they were tangled i don't know why i left them completely fine came back and they're like this and i think i'd rather not have lights than spend hours i mean i don't know how long that would take i probably wouldn't even be able to untangle them but yeah untangling those and putting them up so i guess it's no lights it's actually been quite nice being back, as in it's really nice seeing all my friends. Not gonna lie, I was dreading coming back to school. I mean, school hasn't really started yet as in lessons, but you know what I mean. I'm really red. I don't know why. I think it's because I've actually had to do something today. For the past three, four months, I've literally done nothing all day. But today, I've had quite a strenuous day. I'm gonna go see my friends, but I'll see you soon.